Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 Let's Play. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to be continuing on with the main quest. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Fresh bread, warm from the oven. Here, have a taste. I think I'm going the wrong way. Let me look at the local map. Yeah, I was going the wrong way. So we need to go this way. Plates and pots! Bowls and... Ah, they've closed the road, and it's the only way from here to the Fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile, then. Perhaps the Desert Hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. The wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Delamel is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Looks like we won't be getting back to Drake's Fang anytime soon. Well, it's not like we've got a reason to. Why with this emergency is they've shut down the whole mine. See what uh, this traitor has. Good day, my lord. Mm, nothing that I can see that I would absolutely need besides that, but. We're not really worried about that kind of stuff. Thank you for your custom. Light it for Gilbert's sake. You're a bearer, aren't you? Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um... You wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No. I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. Ooh, chest. Let's go up here, see if there's anything. Fucking men of the wrong. I have a feeling we're gonna fight to a cactar Let eventually. Me treat you. I'm pretty... Okay, I don't really see much up here. I'll go over here. If I don't see anything else, we'll turn around and go to the main quest again. Two goblin coins? Cool. We can sell those for a bit of gill.
What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I won't keep you long. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. Won't find a finer smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig. But he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you me. Won't you come and play, handsome? Your arms are like iron. Are all your muscles so hard? Just checking to see if there's anything over here. Silver platters, hanging lanterns, keep the darkness from your door. Where the hell is this guy? Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. Well, it sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this Ferda knows. When did you get so big? <laughs> Gotta give Torgal pets. Can't leave them neglected. Excuse me. Are you further? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the Desert Hare? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the Bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. Just look! Do you think we can trust him? Only as far as I think he tr Oops. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. I beg your pardon? Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business and you're likely to lose it. Two gill bugs, nice. Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, him. The, the boss. 
He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with a blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the Lock of Leisure, then. To the Lock of Leisure. I didn't mean to uh, cut off that dialogue before the fight. Sorry, everybody. The juiciest meat from green. The most fragrant herbs and spices. My carpets. Is this the place? Lubos Forge, the Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young Sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the Second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the South Gate. <laughs> <sighs> tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why trust? Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm... I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Ha! <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff! We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, 
Be clear about them, damn you! Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Delamil. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard, then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market, either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. I want to check over here if there's a treasure chest or not. There's not. You rest, go. You found it. And we've already been up there. Do you have a moment? Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the Rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. Watch out, Torgal. Come through, bud. Needed to a silken softness, like eating a cloud with a crust. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how much he gave me. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not a soldier. Oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. He'll probably be back at the inn by now. Take a sniff, good sir. My carpets have pride of place in... What was all that crashing and banging about before? Some out of town... It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. Um, upstairs in the inn. The inn's a mess of blood soaked splinters, thanks to you. The least you can do is let us clean up in peace. I told the guard those soldiers started it. Don't need any more trouble. Maybe over across the way. Because he looked up this way. 
好啊。Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sands. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing, Uncle? Very suspicious. Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystallized sort if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere. And pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with them then. Just as you arranged. And put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support. If things turn sour... <laughs> of course. I have a feeling things are not going to go the way we want them to. What was all that crashing and banging about before? Oh, we gotta go out this way. Nothing over there. Jeez, how far are these guys? Caution, my boy. have to go up. We'll hop on our chocobo, why not?
Another gill bug. That's useful. The more gill, the better. I'll take it from here. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And... Being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. My lord! What is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Kill them. Kill them both! And my uncle was talking about, hey, I don't want any trouble. Liar. It's not over yet, uncle. Good. I'm just getting warmed up. Oh, got those guys that heal. Damn it, they're everywhere. More of them? Holy fuck a moly. I have a feeling that's not the end of it.
Well, that wasn't too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? Greybeard, you were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly. Buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the Rock taking Crystal's men for the common folk and conspiring with the Royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of redress against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been... Encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield, thank you very much. No, thank you very much. Greybeard. Double the... Ugh! Here, wear this. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubor. And please, feel free to send one of my stolices back to your people. Tell them that... Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. Oh, me lost the land to his Achilles. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> mm. Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. So what I'm going to do is... There are some side quests over here. We're going to end the video over here and then when we come back, let's do some side quests and then move on to the main quest, Riddle of the Sands. So I think right about here looks like a good place to end. I want to start by telling everybody 
thank you so very much for stopping by. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.